Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about uh, Christian Rodriguez versus Julian Erosa. Let me pull this up for you guys real quick so you can see it right here. Fighting Julian Erosa. Christian Rodriguez 11-1, and 4-1 in his last five fights. Lost to Jonathan Pierce about two and a half years ago. Should have lost to Isaac Dolgarian. Don't understand the split decision nod for him. A draw I get for sure, but... I don't know how he wins. I don't get that. 26 years old, 5'7", with a 71-inch reach. Fighting Ju uh, Julian Juicy J. Rosa, who's 3-2 and two in his last five fights. 1-2 and two in his last three. Um, 34 years old, 6'1", with a 74-and-a-half-inch reach. 3-and-a-half-inch reach advantage for uh, E. Rosa, with a, what, 4, 5, 6-inch six six inch height advantage also for E. Rosa. The biggest issue for me in this fight is I really like Juicy J. Where I'm a big Juicy J fan. Um, but... I, besides creating scrambles and a straight grappling match, I think Erosa is better. Um, I think he has better submissions. I think he's uh, a little bit more crafty on the ground, even though we've seen Rod what Rodriguez did to Raul Rosas Jr. after Rosas got tired. We've seen what Rodriguez is able to do with Dolgarian. Uh, he has good takedown defense. Luckily for Erosa on that aspect, Erosa doesn't have to necessarily get a takedown to find his submissions. Only person before Gene Silva that was able to finish Charles Jordan caught him with a, uh, a Dars, his famous Dars choke. So, you know, in that aspect, I like Juicy J a lot. The aspect that I don't like Juicy J um, is the just the chin. And the X factor for me in this fight is Christian Rodriguez is striking. Uh, he throws really good knees. He went to war with Cameron Samen. Um... Again, he has good striking, striking. he has good power, he has a deep, really, really good chin. Juicy J has been finished a malt gang of times in the UFC. You know, I wouldn't be surprised in this one if he uses his uh, teeps a lot, keep that distance, doesn't look to brawl with him, but he's gonna ha the only way he's gonna be able to get those scrambles is kinda making it chaotic. And because he has to make it chaotic, he's probably gonna end up getting caught. You know, but even in the, like, the UFC, he has four finishes, uh, three submissions, one TKO, but he's finished six times in the UFC. Only been a decision one time. And I believe that was freaking uh, Hakeem Dawadu. I mean, he looked really good in that matchup. Lost to Caceres in the first round. Lost to Fernando Padilla in the first round. Bit of an early stoppage, but he did go down really, really hard. And then destroyed Ric uh, Ricardo Ramos after getting spinning back elbowed. Unbelievably stupid choice by Ramos to go for a... a, a, a uh, takedown. Unbelievably idiotic choice there. Low IQ there. But again, and he also got hurt in that Ricardo Ramos fight. He gets hurt in every goddamn fight he's in, let's be honest. But that was only it, it, by the time they fight three and a half months ago. <coughs> as if I didn't like Rodriguez already in this matchup to win, probably by finish. I'm rooting for Juicy J, but I believe Christian Rodriguez will win this matchup. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know your pick, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.